Most of the time, life is challenging for police officers. They see horrifying crime scenes, have to deal with breaking bad news, and frequently don't receive the credit or appreciation they may be due after putting in long, exhausting hours to crack cases. However, when responding to emergency calls, police officers occasionally run into situations that are completely out of the ordinary. Sometimes, strange things happen to people without them ever leaving the station. So here is the list of top 5 paranormal events witnessed by police. Without further delay, let's start the video. Counting down from number 5, Capitol Theater Haunting. Dave Murphy, a deputy sheriff, had zero interest in anything supernatural. That is, until he began working security in Salt Lake City's Capitol Theater in 2012. Murphy spoke candidly about his and the other officers' experiences at the theater as a guest on the sci-fi television program Paranormal Witness. Murphy denied all paranormal claims until he personally witnessed shadowy figures moving through a wall one night. When no one else was in the theater, doors began to close by themselves. Murphy then began to hear spectral music and videos, and at last, the specter itself appeared in the center of the stage. Murphy even once came across a woman who was wearing early 1900s era attire. In the control room where he worked, he insisted that he saw her walk straight past him. Murphy continued by saying that the shadows he first saw eventually wanted him out of the structure and physically attacked him. The Salt Lake County Center for the Arts Administrative Manager, Blair Fuller, also witnessed paranormal activity in the structure for himself, including an elevator opening by itself and file doors opening and closing. The main specter haunting the theater, according to Fuller, is that of a 17-year-old usher who perished there in a fire in 1947. Number 4. Soul Collector when the World Trade Center towers collapsed in September 2001, Lieutenant Frank Mara, who is now retired, was one of the police officers tasked with searching through the debris. He didn't remember coming across anything supernatural during his long days of work at the site until 2013, when he was conducting interviews for a book about 9-11 called Hallowed Ground. One of the detectives being questioned also recalled hearing a paranormal story about an elderly Red Cross volunteer who allegedly appeared to some of the officers while they were on duty. As was the Red Cross's responsibility during World War II, the woman attempted to serve them coffee and sandwiches. After hearing the detective discuss this, Mara recalled seeing a black woman appear multiple times while he was at work while she was dressed in a Red Cross uniform. Every time he tried to get a better look at her, she would disappear while holding a tray of sandwiches. Mara genuinely believes that this is what he saw after hearing from a medium about his experience that he might have seen a soul collector leading spirits to the afterlife. Number 3. Surveillance Camera Figure In 2014, Officer Carl Romero was on duty at the Espanola police station in New Mexico on a comparatively quiet Saturday evening watching the numerous security cameras placed all over the facility. Everything was going smoothly until he noticed something odd on one of the cameras pointed at the station's entrance. Romero was closely examining the images on the camera when he first assumed the bright white blob he was seeing was an insect, until he noticed the legs beneath it. As soon as he realized what he was seeing, he could only describe it as a ghostly figure. Romero knew it could not be a human figure, because the entrance to the police station is barred off with a gate and protected by an alarm system. The following day, when he told his superiors what he had seen, the majority of them took him at his word. Some even came forward to share their own spooky tales, claiming that they frequently heard unexplained noises coming from the building and had seen strange things in the lobby. Romero told Coat TV about what he saw, and he expressed his belief in ghosts and his theory that the ghostly figure might be connected to the numerous unsolved murders that have occurred nearby over the years. Number 2. Enfield Poltergeist An unassuming Enfield home made significant news in 1977. No crime or missing child was the cause. Peggy Hodgson, however, asserted that a negative force had infiltrated her home. Janet, Hodgson's daughter, allegedly informed her mother that her brother's beds were trembling and vibrating. 
the children's bedroom was making a loud noise the following evening. Hodgson noticed. She looked around and noticed a chest of drawers moving by itself. She tried to move it back to its original location with the kids, but she couldn't. In addition to all of this, Janet appeared to be able to levitate above her bed and there was a strange knocking throughout the house. The case eventually caught the eye of renowned ghost hunters Ed and Lorraine Warren. At the time, there was a lot of discussion and accusation, and many people thought that Hudson and her children had made up the entire incident. While these discussions and debates about the veracity of the Enfield haunting were going on, WP Carolyn Heaps, who had been called out to assist the Hodgson family, signed an affidavit stating that she had witnessed a paranormal event there. Heaps stated that she noticed a chair hovering just above the ground before it moved a little more than a meter by itself. The police then departed the residence, explaining that they were unable to help the family because no one had broken the law. Whether accurate or not, the Enfield House's events were depicted in the popular horror film The Conjuring 2, which also includes a scene in which the police officer sees the chair move by itself. And finally, at number 1, Silbury Hill Beings. In July 2009, an unidentified off-duty police sergeant saw what appeared to be three forensic officers in white coveralls standing in a field and examining something on the ground. He was traveling along a road close to Silbury Hill at the time. When he stopped to look closer, he saw that the three figures he was seeing were all over two meters tall and had blonde hair. He heard what sounded like static electricity echoing through the field as he got closer to them. When the officers saw him, they turned on their heels and fled from view more quickly than any human could. The sergeant claimed that the three beings were examining a crop circle that had just recently appeared in the field. The sergeant decided to speak with UFO experts after experiencing additional paranormal activity which prompted Crop Circle researchers Andrew Russell and Colin Andrews to look into the incident on behalf of the terrified officer. The sergeant was off duty at the time of the sighting, so the Wiltshire police station declined to comment, citing that it was a personal matter. The policemen, according to Russell and Andrews, saw something out of this world though. So that's the end of the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and press the notification bell so you never miss out on our next videos. Until the next video, take care.